is now being recorded. Welcome to Reporting Basics, Sage Dak Easy, Tech Tuesday. My name is Debbie Champagne, I'm the Dak Easy Product Specialist. Go over the agenda for today. Uh, we want to touch on basic reporting options in DACEasy that we here in support utilize, and we find a lot of people are unaware of the different, some of the functionality in the program. Um, we're going to start with reviewing the standard report options, which obviously many of you are familiar with the reports menu. We want to touch on the customer purchase history, the payroll codes history report, customized lookups, we'll touch a little bit on the DAC access query, and go ahead and well, let's first start with the standard reports. Obviously, under reports, you um, have a lot of options. These format uh, results are not customizable. However, they do offer multiple sorting options. However, some of those standard you know, the standard reports, you do have the option of publishing them to Excel for certain customization. Um, that'll be from any report layout. Um, the publish feature, especially in the, with this example, you can launch Excel. Um, launch application is checked, and when you hit publish and OK, it will insert the all of the report information uh, to Excel. Another um, great feature um, that a lot of people don't know about is the customer purchase history. Um, it's a simple way to view customer purchase information. Um, it can speed up the reorder process, for example, and it's accessible from customers in the reports menu option. So in this example, we have a customer, and the lower right is the purchase history. And you can print with a specific date range in summary or detail, um, and posting is not required. So here's an example of what the report customer purchase history looks like for this person. And again, this is printable. And just to touch on um, this, uh, there will be a vendor purchase history that will be available in the next version, upcoming version for vendors. Now we want to touch on payroll is the payroll codes history. Again, a very good reporting option um, in addition to the standard reports. Uh, it's a customizable report area. Um, it pulls from the transaction history specifically. And you can query it by date ranges, which we don't have that ability in payroll with DAC access query. So this is a great alternative. So when you go in to the codes history, the layout will be blank. You go ahead and you put in a title. You click layout, or it will say this layout doesn't exist. Would you like to create it? And you'll select yes. Brings you into the layout. Uh, report layout. Uh, it'll give it a description, and then it, it'll, it allows up to six different variables. So you are limited in that aspect. Um, you might have to build multiple to get a certain sequence of things you're looking for. However, it does give you up to six. Um, under transaction codes, you click the lookup and find the field that you're uh, wanting information based on. In this example, we're looking for net pay, 401k deduction, code and a 401k liability code. And in this example, it brings the information to the screen. Um, I sorted it um, by date, so I could get it from January 1st, 2011 to March 31st, 2011. And you can see it gave me the, the code, the name, the net pay, the check date, the 401k with a subtotal, the 401k employer with a subtotal, and then a grand total at the very bottom. Customized lookups is another report option, um, and it's available from any lookup. And the beauty of this feature is that once you select the, the lookup variable, such in this example, code, name, balance, last sales date, last payment date, invoice, first year, year to date, um, you can export. So from any available lookup, any lookup field, um, 
when you hit F5, you're going to select Customize. And on the left, you have Available Fields, and on the right is what your, uh, your chosen or selected fields. So on the right, you can move up or down, or you can delete as needed. And on, on the, left, the left side, you're picking those items that you want to see the information. In this example, we've selected code, name, balance, last sales date, last payment date, invoice date, all from this area. So what, this is what my lookup is going to incorporate if I select export allowed in addition and hit OK. So it brings, the, the, this is now my lookup, all the things that I chose. And now if we select export, save the export and it creates a text file. So it, based on the the customized lookup, I'm able to get a report feature. It's a basic text file, but it does query the information, if you will, to a report. Open it in Excel, for example. And then under Query, well, you can create custom reports, formulas. You can export the, inform the queries. And you're pulling information from tables and catalogs of your choice. So in this example, um, I have sale, a sales analysis table. I'm going to pull the customer number, the invoice number, the salesperson, the product code, the product description, the extended amount, the cost amount, and then a user profit that I created, which is the amount minus the cost total. So again, the query, and here's an example of the query design. I've selected my catalog sales history and the fields, again, customer, invoice number, salesperson. When I have everything that I need, I click Run Query. Query, uh, the Run Query generates the results to the screen. This, remember, there's no formatting in the query, however, this Query can be brought into the publisher, uh, formalize it, and get grand totals. But here from the query, you can select print, export, or you can even email it. Moving on to the business center, our reports and dashboards, both of which um, uh, they're unique to the business center and not available in the modules where you have instant reporting with drill down capability. And so let's look at the reports option in the Business Center. You can instantly run the report by just clicking the hyperlink. Or if you click on the icon to the left, you can put in a specific date range and other parameters. Click on the report. Uh, it brings it to the screen. You have options, you know, to advance the page, generate, um, go back. Full screen view is right here. Also, you have drill down capability. So, in, if I click on this credit of 1500, I'm curious about what it is. I drill down on it, and it brings up the the general ledger listing of the actual transaction. I can see it was made cash, debit in the credit shown here. And again, this is only available in the Business Center. In the Business Center, you have the dashboards. There's one for bank account balances, sales, customers, vendors, and products. These, again, are quick views. Um, that you don't have available in the the module. On it, it's going to bring up all the views. You just need a couple of moments to generate bank account. And it's giving me a quick view of balances, which I can print. And this one under sales, it's giving me information regarding the different sales accounts customer, and a vendor dashboard, and product. 
products, customers, vendors, etc. Okay, so in review, we touched on the standard reports under each reports menu. We talked about codes, history, and payroll. The customized lookups as an alternative to the standard reporting. A little bit about query and the, business, the unique uh, reporting ability in the business center with drill down capabilities and dashboards. Includes the reporting basis.